Ms. Bergara, ma'am, you may step up to the podium. Good morning, ma'am. Hi, I'm doing all right, all things considered, ma'am. You're before the court this morning on allegations of a public order crime as the accessory after the fact to a attempted murder charge, second degree felony. Can you afford your own lawyer on these charges? No, I cannot. Would you like me to appoint one to help you? Huh? Would you like me to appoint a lawyer to help you? Yes. I appoint the public defender. I find probable cause this morning to support your arrest. Ms. Vergara, while this case is pending, ma'am, you're going to have no contact with your co-defendant, Mr. Muhammad, there in the room with you, ma'am. If you are able to post bill, I'm directing you to be fitted with a GPS monitor prior to your release. You've just been provided a copy of the standing no contact order, which details what will be expected of you as it relates to that no contact provision. So, Ms. Vergara, in reviewing your address certification form, I do not see a, a city or a state from where you reside. Where are you from, ma'am? I'm from Florida. You're from Florida? What part? Jacksonville. So you're from the area. Do you have any family here, ma'am? Uh, my mother. And your mother's in Jacksonville? Yes. Ms. Vergara, based upon the nature and circumstances of the charge, um, as well as really a lack of ties to Bradford County, I do find you present a flight risk and feel a substantial bond is warranted. Ma'am, I'm going to establish bail this morning in $500,000. Thank you. You may step back. Mr. Muhammad. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Mr. Muhammad, you're one out of the state of New York for attempted murder, sir. I find probable cause relying on the issuing court's termination of probable cause. You're going to be held without bail until further order of court. Mr. Muhammad, as it relates to the underlying charge, I'm not going to appoint a lawyer this morning to help you because this charge originates not only out of the 8th Judicial Circuit here in Florida, but out of the state as well. You have a right this morning, Mr. Muhammad, in a, in a decision to make as relates to extradition. You have a right to force what's called a formal extradition. Generally speaking, a formal extradition is a process by which the state of New York obtains permission from the state of Florida to come down and transport you back to New York to answer these charges. Generally speaking, it's not whether you are guilty or not guilty of the underlying offense. It's simply whether you're the correct Farrakhan Muhammad they are looking for. If you would like me to appoint a lawyer for those purposes to force a formal extradition, I'll be glad to appoint a public defender at this point to help you if you cannot find your own, afford your own lawyer. On the other hand, Mr. Muhammad, you also have a right to waive that formal extradition process and go and answer these charges voluntarily, however you would be held here in jail until the authorities from New York can come down and transport you back to New York to answer those charges. I'm also glad, Mr. Muhammad, to pass your case a few days to give you a chance to consult with counsel as relates to your extradition rights. How would you like to proceed this morning as relates to extradition, sir? Your, your Honor, if I may. Sure, Ms. Ward. Is, is the, just because I wasn't provided a copy of the warrant, is there a bond on the warrant? It's a Nobel, it's a Nobel endorsement on the teletype, yes. Okay. Is that... Well, we'll explore so, that. And I would ask the court to consider appointing us so that we can discuss extradition with Mr. Muhammad. His okay, well, let me ask here for Mr. Muhammad first. Mr. Muhammad, how do you want me to proceed? Would you like me to appoint a lawyer this morning to help you to discuss the yes. extradition process? Yes. Very well. I'll be glad to appoint a lawyer to discuss the extradition process with you. Um, I'll appoint the Office of the Public Defender. Ms. Ward, do you want me to set him for some time next week to come back up to revisit extradition? Yes, sir. I think it might be helpful to set him on Thursday so he comes back here. So next Thursday? Very well. So, Mr. Mahoma, I'm going to pass your case over to next Thursday, which will be May 20th at 10 a.m. Um, of course, Ms. Ward, if you or somebody from your office talk to Mr. Mahoma, he wants to be moved up. I'm certainly glad to accommodate you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mahoma. Your lawyer will be out to see you soon, sir. Thank you. 